The Rocky Mountains are seeing several powerful storms that are not only creating dream conditions for skiers, but also dangerous ones in the backcountry. The most recent storm brought lots of snow and high winds. Canada, a land of endless forests, untouched tundra, and silent ancient mountains. For generations, these vast wildernesses have seemed eternal, the solid, unshakable backbone of North America. But what if everything we thought we knew about Canada's calm, unchanging earth is wrong? What if deep below those towering trees and frozen lakes, secrets are stirring? Secrets that have the power to rewrite not only the story of Canada, but also the geological history of our planet. In recent years, a series of eye-opening discoveries have come to light, findings so compelling that they are forcing geologists, seismologists, and even the most skeptical scientists to question their earlier assumptions. From lost oceans and buried continents to prehistoric craters and geologic engines older than the mountains themselves, Canada has become the new epicenter of a scientific revolution. Beneath its quiet landscape, something ancient is waking up. Hidden faults are exhibiting fresh activity, and immense magma flows are being detected in places once thought far too stable. The very ground beneath Canada's feet is on the move and it could spell changes more dramatic than anyone previously imagined. So what's really happening beneath this seemingly solid land? How did we overlook the clues for so long? And what do these new discoveries reveal about the dangers, or the wonders, that lie below? The answers are as deep, mysterious, and shocking as the land itself. Could the next great catastrophe, or a new chapter in Earth's evolution, already be rumbling beneath Canada's peaceful wilderness? Let's venture underground, diving chapter by chapter into a hidden world where the fundamental rules of geology are being challenged. Chapter 1. Hidden Megathrust Threat Unveiled Imagine listening to the heart of the Earth and hearing it pulse with rhythms you never expected. That's what happened when researchers, using advanced hydrophone technology, detected a persistent, low-frequency signal beneath the Pacific coast of Canada. This wasn't just background geological noise. What they uncovered was a concealed megathrust fault, the kind of tectonic interface capable of unleashing earthquakes that reshape entire swaths of land. But how could such a colossal geological fault remain as an unknown for so long? And what makes it so dangerous? A megathrust isn't just a fracture. It's the type of fault responsible for some of the world's most powerful earthquakes. These are zones where one tectonic plate dives beneath another, storing stress and energy over centuries sometimes breaking loose in moments that dwarf the world's largest man-made explosions. In Canada's remote northwest, a region historically seen as seismically quiet, scientists have now found that rocks, once considered dormant for millions of years, are demonstrating new patterns of motion. This previously overlooked megathrust doesn't just threaten remote valleys and isolated inlets. Its proximity to the west coast means its impact could extend to cities like Vancouver Island or Vancouver itself not just through ground shaking, but also the generation of tsunamis. If this fault becomes active, its effects might reverberate around the Pacific Rim. The risk raises a critical question. Chapter 2. Reawakening Ancient Geological Faults What if the ground beneath your feet could recall every ancient cataclysm, every massive upheaval, every tectonic clash, these memories are preserved in faults that thread across Canada's shield and tundra. For generations, these regions, known as cratons, were believed to be solid, stable, and earthquake-free. However, new seismic data paints a different picture. Faults can be seen as the scars in Earth's crust, dormant until subtle changes in pressure, temperature, or the removal of weight awaken them. Recent seismic surveys in northern Canada and near Hudson Bay are registering small, previously undetected earthquakes, microquakes, in areas never considered seismically active. This shift is believed to be connected in part to isostatic rebound. As glacial ice melts, land that has been held down by its weight for millennia is slowly springing upward, relieving deep pressures and prompting movements along long, quiet faults. The intensity of this reawakening is measurable. GPS studies reveal that land in some northern areas is steadily rising, and micro-seismic activity is increasing. While these are currently small tremors, they are harbingers. The reality is, Earth's ancient wounds can be opened again by new forces, and their impact on both natural ecosystems and human infrastructure is an open question. 
Chapter 3 Magma Plumes, the Fiery Unknown The Canadian Shield has long stood as a textbook example of stable crust, unmoved by volcanoes or noticeable seismic unrest. Yet new investigations are revealing something unexpected, a vast hidden plume of hot rock, magma, rising from deep within the mantle, in a region thought too ancient and cold for such activity. How is there magma on the move beneath the world's oldest continental crust? This revelation comes from advanced seismic tomography, essentially 3D X-rays of Earth's interior, which has shown significant heat anomalies and seismic disturbances in parts of the shield. While the likelihood of volcanic eruption remains low, the detection of a hot mantle plume challenges previous ideas about the shield's geological stability. Hot, slowly moving mantle rocks can weaken existing faults and create unexpected seismic activity, requiring geologists to rethink the shield's seismic risk as well as its mineral potential. If this plume breaches the crust, it could alter the landscape in the distant future. Though for now, its primary significance is that even Canada's most solid ground isn't as immutable as once thought. Instead, it offers a reminder. Chapter 4 Shifting Tectonic Plates Exposed Off Canada's restless west coast, something remarkable has been recorded for the first time. The real-time fragmentation of a tectonic plate in the ocean's depths. Tectonic plates, the massive slabs that make up the continents and seafloor, usually move as units, grinding or sliding past one another. But here, one is breaking apart. Thanks to a network of ocean-bottom seismometers, scientists have tracked subtle, slow earthquakes, so-called slow-slip events, undetectable on the surface but strong enough to reveal tectonic strain. Seismic models confirm that the plate itself is deforming, creating smaller, independent fragments. This event upends long-held beliefs about how plates age or die, showing that the Earth's crust is far from static. The consequences reach beyond scientific curiosity. Fragmentation introduces new, potentially unstable fault zones, capable of spawning types of earthquakes and tsunamis unfamiliar to the region. As researchers continue to monitor these changes, Canadians are reminded that even the bones of their landscape can shift and adapt in ways both subtle and profound. Chapter 5. Lost Oceans Beneath the Shield It's a staggering idea, entire oceans beneath our feet, locked away by the march of geological time. In the deep roots of Canada's crust, scientists have found chemical and mineral traces, hydrous minerals and inclusions of ancient seawater, proving that parts of the Canadian interior are built from once submerged oceanic plates. It pulls oceanic crust and seawater miles beneath the surface. Over eons, these slabs heat and dehydrate, but remnants of their marine chemistry are preserved in rocks now buried beneath the Canadian shield. Recent studies identify hydrous minerals containing traces of ancient seawater at depths of up to 200 kilometers, a discovery confirmed by tests in laboratories. This evidence rewrites our notion of Canada's geology, showing that its foundation is a patchwork of ancient seafloors. These oceanic ghosts hint that cycles of land and sea are ongoing, with yesterday's oceans becoming tomorrow's continents, and perhaps, one day, returning to influence the surface again. Chapter 6. Prehistoric Craters, Hidden Impact Zones Some of Canada's most dramatic scars are all but invisible, a legacy of meteorite impacts so ancient they've mostly vanished beneath forest, ice, and sediment. But new tools, from aeromagnetic surveys to gravity sensors, are laying bare a landscape pocked by the scars of cosmic bombardment. Classic examples like the Sudbury Basin and Manicouagan Crater are well known. But new survey data reveal subtle circular anomalies in regions previously thought geologically unremarkable. Geologists use chemical signatures in rocks, the presence of shock-altered minerals like quartz, and gravity data to confirm that these features mark the sites of colossal impacts. Evidence suggests that such events may have influenced everything from mineral deposits to local climate. While not every anomaly is a confirmed impact structure, the growing list of candidates broadens our understanding of Earth's violent past and Canada's role in it. Each newly uncovered crater is a window into primordial catastrophe and a reminder that cosmic events have shaped the land as much as tectonic ones. Chapter 7 Continental Fragments Buried Pieces of a Lost World 
The ground beneath our feet might once have belonged to a distant, vanished continent. In fact, the oldest parts of Canada, especially the Shield, contain rock fragments with geological DNA that points to origins far from their present location. Is it possible that chunks of the Canadian Shield drifted from the other side of the world? Geochemical analyses reveal that some rocks in the north and center of Canada originated on ancient supercontinents, like Rodinia. Their isotopic fingerprints don't match what surrounds them, suggesting they were stitched onto the Canadian landmass when continents merged and broke apart. In northern Canada, rocks have even been linked to what is now West Africa, having fused with the shield over a billion years ago. These findings cement Canada's place as a geological crossroads and hint at the fluidity of continents themselves. What is Canadian bedrock was once, perhaps, part of another world. The landscape we know is part of a global story of drift, collision, and profound transformation. Chapter 8 Canada's Geological Engines Revealed Canada's foundation is more than just stone. It is the product of deep, ongoing processes that began over three billion years ago. Scientists describe these as geological engines, mantle convection, crustal heating, and mineral cycling, driving everything from the rise of mountains to the creation of rare mineral belts. Deep beneath the ancient shield, mantle convection currents continue to stir, even today, supporting the movement and renewal of the lower crust. These engines explain the presence of Canada's prolific mineral belts, regions rich in gold, nickel, diamonds, and other resources. By tracing chemical gradients and sampling ancient rocks, Geologists confirm that these cycles have endured, pulsing through the planet for billions of years. Canada's engines give it not only its formidable shield, but also its mineral wealth. Understanding these processes allows scientists to glimpse the earliest days of Earth itself, making the country a living laboratory for geological history. Chapter 9 Earthquake Patterns – A New Forecast Across Canada's north and interior, Seismologists are discovering shifts in the frequency and distribution of earthquakes, including clusters, so-called swarms, in areas previously labeled stable. High-resolution seismic arrays are detecting earthquake activity in places like the Yukon and Nunavut, locations with little or no history of seismic hazard. These aren't surface blasts or aftershocks, but genuine tectonic events, sometimes linked to isostatic rebound or subtle shifts in deep faults. Alarmingly, the energy from these tremors sometimes travels farther and faster than expected, revealing a web of interconnected faults beneath the surface. Emergency management and hazard planning in many communities, communities once thought safe, must adapt to a new normal of unpredictability. Canada's seismic map is more complex than ever, making preparedness and careful monitoring more urgent. Chapter 10. Rising Heat Beneath Frozen Land. Canada's Arctic is notorious for its permafrost, but beneath the surface, unexpected warmth is rising. Subsurface temperature measurements are showing thermal anomalies, zones where heat is welling up, despite an environment that should be, by all rights, permanently frozen. What's driving this hidden heat? There are several culprits. Upwelling mantle currents, the energy released by radioactive decay in old rocks, and most recently, adjustments linked to permafrost thaw and glacial rebound. In some locations, this hidden warmth is already destabilizing the landscape above. Sinkholes and landslides are increasing as permafrost thaws, while infrastructure, from airstrips to pipelines, is threatened by sudden subsidence. In addition to physical risks, this warming could also accelerate the release of greenhouse gases from soils rich in ancient carbon, a feedback loop with climate implications. The changes underway beneath Canada's Arctic may have both local and global consequences, reshaping how communities and scientists must respond in a rapidly evolving landscape. Chapter 11. Buried River Valleys, the Ghost Drainages. The traces of Canada's great prehistoric rivers still linger beneath our feet, hidden by later sediments, forests, or fields. New remote sensing and mapping technologies are revealing an invisible landscape of buried valleys, once mighty waterways redirected by glacial action. Do these ghost rivers still matter? Most definitely. As glaciers retreated, they carved vast channels and valleys into the bedrock. Some of these paleo channels became prime locations for concentrated mineral deposits, as water carried and settled precious materials. In the modern era, their presence still influences groundwater flow, 
the spread of aquifers, and even earthquake wave patterns. In Alberta and Saskatchewan, understanding these ancient drainages guides vital resource exploration, including water and oil. Their silent existence continues to shape today's landscape, making them both a scientific puzzle and an economic asset. Chapter 12. Gravity Anomalies, Signals from the Deep. Imagine your weight fluctuating ever so slightly, not because of diet, but due to variations in Earth's gravitational pull. In Canada, high sensitivity gravimeters are mapping subtle gravity anomalies, clues to massive concealed installations deep below the surface. Local changes in rock density and composition, from buried magma chambers to ancient mountain roots, create measurable gravity highs and gravity lows. For example, central Manitoba's gravity lows correspond to billion-year-old rift valleys filled with lighter sediments, while gravity highs suggest the presence of dense minerals or ancient volcanic roots. These anomalies help geologists pinpoint resources or map subsurface structures that are otherwise invisible. They also reveal how deep geology shapes the way the modern landscape moves, responds to stress, and evolves with time. Chapter 13. Subterranean Life. Microbial Mysteries Beneath kilometers of rock and permafrost, life persists against the odds. The Canadian deep subsurface is home to microbial colonies thriving in total darkness, drawing energy not from the sun, but from chemical reactions with rocks and minerals. These microbes utilize hydrogen, sulfur, and metals from deep within the earth, demonstrating metabolisms dating back billions of years. Their diversity hints at ancient evolutionary lineages, potentially unchanged since Earth's youth. Sites such as deep gold mines in Ontario and Quebec have yielded rock-breathing microbes with remarkable resilience. The discovery of a vast, self-sustaining biosphere deep below ground is reshaping our understanding of life's range and origins. Studying these organisms may offer clues to how life began and what forms it might take elsewhere in the universe. Chapter 14. Seismic Shadows signals we can't explain. Not all seismic signals make sense. Across Canada, researchers have identified puzzling seismic shadows, waves that slow down, bend, or vanish in ways not explained by standard geological maps. Dense monitoring networks have revealed that these unusual signals may trace their origins to ultra-dense rocks, hidden cavities, or structures left over from ancient tectonic collisions. Some events in Labrador and other regions appear to echo and scatter, hinting at unmapped voids or complex networks of mineralized zones. Each unexplained shadow is an invitation to look deeper, to re-examine long-held assumptions, and to expand our models. Canada's interior thus becomes a repository of deep, unsolved mysteries, each new clue challenging us to see farther into Earth's hidden past and processes. Chapter 15. The Unexpected Awakening. Standing on the steadfast land of Canada, we now realize its apparent calm hides powerful dynamics, ancient heat, shifting tectonics, and echoes of vanished worlds. Every new scientific advance peels back another layer, from lost continents and oceans underfoot to subtle seismic shadows that hint at unfathomable subterranean structures. Do we perhaps know less about the ground beneath our feet than we ever imagined? The answer is clear, yes. Every earthquake swarm, crater, upwelling of heat, or seismic anomaly reveals that Canada is not just a silent stage for natural history, but an active participant in the drama of planetary evolution. Its faults, once thought forever dormant, are stirring. Its lost oceans and hidden microbes whisper stories as old as Earth itself. With every new discovery, the film of certainty thins, and we see the landscape with new, questioning eyes. Scientists redraw maps, decision-makers revise plans, and all of us must wonder anew what secrets slumber in the ground beneath us. In the end, beneath Canada, the story is neither finished nor even fully known. The land continues to evolve, quietly, slowly, yet powerfully. Every signal, every tremor, every anomaly is part of a saga still unfolding. A saga in which Canada's mysteries, once thought eternally at rest, are just now beginning to awaken.